they are the creatures of nightmares. He had his arm up and she had her paws on his forearm and he looked straight into her eyes. Harold Johnson's nightmares. He had more strength than I had. He was faster, he was quicker. He was an athlete's dream. Johnson survived his own close encounter with a timber wolf years before Kenton Carnegie's death here. The young engineering student had come to northern Saskatchewan on a work program. He'd gone for a late afternoon walk along the lakeside near the mining camp. He never returned. In the end, a coroner's inquest concluded Carnegie had been attacked by wolves, photographed near the camp days before his death. They'd been drawn to the area by an unfenced dump and lost their fear of humans. Johnson worries whether we've forgotten the lessons from Carnegie's death. How wolves that associate people with an easy meal can just as easily see people as the easy meal. He says the province needs to start monitoring the wolf population and where they are. He says the predators are not staying in the north. Moose population has moved to the prairies. There's more. If I go hunting moose, I'm not going to hunt at the north end of Montreal Lake because there's hardly any there. I'll come down to Saskatoon to hunt moose because you have them here. The moose have moved down. The wolves are going to follow them. The province confirms that it doesn't track wolf numbers, but Sask Environment does say it has an idea where wolves are found. They've left a trail of dead livestock along the southern edge of the provincial forest. Dan Zakreski, CBC News, Saskatoon.